How's everyone doing? Today I just wanted to ask your opinion on what movie I should watch out of the four that I have picked out right here. I haven't seen any of them and let me know what you're watching tonight as well. But I'm gonna watch one movie tonight and I would like some feedback, some input because I'm indecisive on this lot. I'm going back and forth but first up we have uh, The Lost City with Channing Tatum and Sandra Bullock and uh, I think Daniel Radcliffe is in here too. This looks like it's going to be, you know, a comedy adventure movie. I haven't heard too much about it though, but it looks like it's going to be really over the top. A bunch of uh, bonus features on here too. And then next up, we've got one that I've been curious about checking out for a while. It was uh, on Netflix, but it recently got a uh, physical media release on Criterion Collection. That's the 4K release for Okja. And I'm definitely a fan of uh, the director, of course, from... Uh, uh, Parasite, uh, Bong Joon-ho, but I really liked uh, Memories of a Murder. That's one of my all-time favorite movies, top 20 for me, which also has a Criterion Collection release. But this one looks uh, really intriguing, uh, like a genetically uh, engineered animal, and uh, this girl has a bond with it, and it gets stolen from her, and they're trying to get it back. Uh, it looks like it's going to be very heartfelt and emotional and a good message overall, uh, several messages, and a, a good supporting cast in there too. And I just picked this one up on the Criterion Collection 50% off sale. I didn't get it from Barnes & Noble. I actually got it from Amazon. I've actually had better luck with Amazon in the past when I've got Criterion from Barnes & Noble. It's taken a while to get here. And Amazon has essentially the 50% off sale going on now too. So with that price point, I had to pick this one up. I've been wanting to see it for a while. And expect a Criterion Collection 50% off sale video coming up soon because I did pick a, a few others, but I've seen those ones. Next up is Lamb, which is, uh, I guess, the highest grossing Icelandic film. I don't know any other Icelandic films, though. I, maybe I do, I just don't know off the top of my head. It's the feature-length directorial debut of Vladimir Johansson, and it has Rooney Mara, who I'll always remember for uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the far superior uh, Swedish version, much better than Fencher's version. I think the only people that like Fencher's version more are uh, English native-speaking people, but uh doesn't even compare, night and day. But uh, this one looks like it's going to be like a folk tale. There's loss in this family, uh, this couple right here, and they find this lamb. They don't know where it came from is what I get from it, but uh, it looks like it's going to be atmospheric, and it's a really nice release. This is an A24.com exclusive uh, 4K right there, Digipack edition, and I've heard that one is like a really weird one, um, and I like weird films. I like weird films. I like depressing films, so next up is Giant, which is the last film uh, from James Dean. He really was only in uh, for like a feature role for three films, uh, but some great films. And then also has Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor. This is a classic uh, like oil Western kind of movie. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. Uh, let me know if you've seen any of these ones and what you think of them and which one is your favorite from these and which one you would recommend me watching tonight of these four. Lost City, Okja, Lamb, and Giant. And uh, they're all 4Ks. I just realized that. So uh, there's that too. Um, I'm all about the physical media. So let me know what you think and let me know what you're watching tonight too. Leave me those comments down below. And I definitely appreciate the input and feedback and look forward to more videos coming up soon, especially once I view these ones, I'll do another video talking about them, uh, my overall thoughts and reviews for them. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.